Miz, I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. I'm sorry to inform you that the production on Rank and File 4 has been temporarily shut down. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure, I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that's the exact same relationship I have with my siblings. Guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? by settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. This will be the premiere of the lights, camera, action ladder match. Sequels are tough to pull off but me beating you for the part a second time is gonna be way more entertaining than the first go around. And since we're in the spirit of making movie themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. You'd all love to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Fair enough. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So. If you want a sneak preview match, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a movie star, I get how it works. When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Nashville, Tennessee, the Raw Women's Champion, the Brawler. The atmosphere inside this arena for this one is absolutely
absolutely insane, guys. And if you think this is insane, just wait until this thing kicks into high gear. You ain't seen nothing yet. From Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 290 pounds, Brandon! Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. I have to say the level of pride he has in his game is truly impressive, guys. Yeah, he's about as proud as a peacock, Michael. And you know what? He has every right to be. Just because you're on a diet doesn't mean you can't look at the menu. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. We were recently in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Cole, and I tried to marry every woman I met because they all sounded like Maurice. This sounds like a personal problem. Tremendous competitor in the ring. Of course, the wife to uh, The Miz, but Maurice. I like to refer to The Miz as Maurice's husband. As successful as Maurice oh, has I been. I love it when she does that. He has a very questionable attitude. There's nothing to question, Byron. Get ready for some awesome! Residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! The Miz is the man who single-handedly turned SmackDown from the B Show to the Show, a star of stage, screen, reality television. Is there anything The Miz hasn't done? Did the Miz pay you to say all that, Corey? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. I happen to be a hopeful for consideration for a Mizzy this year. Really? A That's right. Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have a Mizzy. You guys are weird. This is such an intriguing matchup. But you have to wonder if Red was just a little bit disappointed. She didn't have the opportunity to get her hands on Brooklyn Von Braun. Honestly, I think Red's lucky that didn't happen. Because from what I heard about their audition dust-up, Red's no match for Brooklyn. Oh, oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, targeting the stomach. And she's getting fired up here. That is a beautiful thing to watch. And what a clothesline. She's starting to look concerned. One, two, three, Very five. curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity. It looks like it might all be over for the team of Maurice and Miz. What is that? I think it's footage from Red and Brooklyn's audition fight. It certainly got Red's attention. And scene. French kiss DDT. Maurice capitalizes on Red being distracted and pulls off the upset. What a huge win for the It Couple. Oh, the timing of that footage playing was certainly no accident. It looked like Red was about to put Maurice away.
I think there's your answer on who played the footage. That was a coordinated effort among those three. Okay, it's always smart to have a backup plan. I've been telling you that for years, Saxton.